European Union is history. Two hours time, I'm supposed to be giving a speech in Berlin in a museum. What about? The European Union. What's that? Because you chose the wrong people to lead. Great England Prime Minister Nigel Farage has announced the success of the new president of France, Marine Le Pen, declared a state of emergency. Greece has unilaterally cancelled all of the country's debt. And they didn't protect you. He is fighting in Vienna. The advance of the Islamic State seems unstoppable. Rioting, looting and civil disorder is escalating across Europe after the shooting of protesters in Rome. The Great European Disaster, a drama, sorry, documentary produced by BBC was screened this week. Joining me in the now is Luis Bors, MEP from UKIP. Thanks for being with us. Do you take this as a Hello. personal attack? You're welcome. Do you take this as a personal attack on Abs your party? The ball is certainly in your car court. What's your reaction? Uh, we absolutely do. Um, I think UKIP are under a sustained attack at the moment. In fact, we have tonight uh, on British television another uh, documentary uh, detailing UKIP and its activists. I mean, this was just nothing but blatant propaganda. If it wasn't so appalling, humorless, then it would be hilariously funny. But unfortunately, it wasn't satirical. Um, there was no humor. It was just it was just an attack on humor uh, on. UKIP, sorry, it was attack, an attack on democracy and it was attack on the freedom of speech of the people of Great Britain because we are under attack because we're fighting the establishment and that's the important thing. It's the establishment ganging up on people who want to have a democratic voice. If this propaganda is so blatant, won't the audience, the people then see this? Does UKIP really have something to be concerned about? You know, ironically, I think you're absolutely right, ironically. I think what happened is they set out to make something that would scare people, that would make sure that people, you know, would want to stay in this corrupt organisation. And what they've done is the opposite, because what's happened, it was such blatant propaganda, it's having the reverse effect. And it's actually driving people more into our arms, which obviously we're very happy about. But the one thing that really disturbs us is... You have to remember that the BBC is an organisation that is funded through payments by the British public. It's a taxpayer-funded organisation. And what they are doing is taking that money and they are peddling out lies and propaganda. And that is the abomination. And that is what we must have, be very, very strong, have a very loud voice and say we will not stand for it. UKIP also claims that BBC receives annual donations from the EU. I want our audience to take a look at these numbers. We can bring up... Uh, some graphics Absolutely. we've done for you. Take a look at this, people who are watching. I want to ask you, though, Louise, what are the sources for these figures? Uh, well, these sources, uh, it's interesting. Now, we know that the BBC received over £22 million from the European Union. Now, that isn't on any records at the BBC. What you have to do instead is have a look at the Commission. And in the transparency reports of the European Commission, it's there for everyone to see. So what we would like to say is, BBC, where is your UKIP... Uh, where, well, UKIP we wish there was a UKIP logo. Where is your European Union logo? Because as a matter of legality, if you receive money from the European Union, you have to display a European Union logo. Where where is it? It should be displayed alongside the BBC so people know that what they're getting is not, it, it is not transparent, it's not, uh, it's, not, it's not fair, it's not just. What it is is biased propaganda. The movie certainly puts BBC on the table for being slammed as biased. Why do you think they would take such an obvious step into criticism? Just briefly. Who knows? I mean, it is quite bewildering because they have been slated across the board for this so-called uh, film. Um, who knows? I think they thought they could get away with it and it's spectacularly backfired. Um, and I'm looking forward to the day when they are forced to display that European yeah, Union flag alongside the BBC logo. And then what will happen is the days of the British taxpayer funding the BBC will be well and truly over. Well, that would certainly be full disclosure. Louise Bohr is MEP from UKIP with us it in was. the now. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you very much.